Welcome back to Living It Away. He's the host of the widely popular and Emmy award-winning game show called Cash Cab, but he's taking a small break for a comedy tour that has the actor and comedian come into Hawaii for two shows, one on Maui and another in Honolulu, and he's joining us now live via Zoom. Let's get to know Ben Bailey. Ben, thank you so much for being with us on Living It Away. Appreciate it. Oh, you bet. Thanks for having me, man. How's it going? Uh, it's great. Love, uh, love watching Cash Cab. I know that it's done two stints on different networks, but uh, really love the show. And I'm, uh, I'm sure I, I speak for a lot of our Living It Away viewers that they know your face. So there oh, you cool. go. Well, thank you. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. For a few folks that don't know who you are, how did you get started? Tell us about the whole thing. Oh, I kind of stumbled into stand-up comedy. I moved to, uh, I was a foolish young man who went to Hollywood to get into the movie business. And instead of getting into the movie business, I got into the comedy business. I ended up getting a job at the comedy store, which I, I had never even heard of. And then I just found myself standing outside the place talking to these guys, and they offered me a job answering phones. The guy was like, you have a good voice. You should answer the phones here. So I said, <laughs> all right. So I took a job there. And then at that time, unlike now, it was very difficult to get people to come into comedy shows. Like there had been a big boom in the late eighties and then it sort of fizzled out and it was rough. So they would give you a couple of drink tickets every shift at the club in the hopes that you would stay and sort of make the audience, you know? So, and I would save them up. I would like save my drink tickets per shift and then go and have like a big night out. Cause I was so broke, but uh, <laughs> I ended up, telling this kind of crazy story of how I ended up living in out in LA and, you know, chasing my dream of getting into the movie business. And, uh, these guys thought I was a comedian. I was just telling them the story. And these guys said, how long have you been doing comedy? <laughs> and I said, uh, I just started, you know, and so I ended up doing that guy's you know, show. The first show I ever did was in the belly room, the little upstairs room at the store, uh, Got a laugh with the first stupid thing I said, and uh, that was it. I was like, "Oh boy, this is this is where I'm going to live. This is what I'm supposed to do." So that was that'll be 30 years ago in December. Wow, which I can't believe. I, I think <laughs> yeah. I think most people know you from Cash Cab. That was a a super popular show. Continues to be popular in its reruns. Yep, yep, it's still going. Everybody knows me as the Cash Cab guy, uh, and then they come out and they're like, "Oh, wait a minute, this guy's actually a comedian." He's not just some guy who had a show who's like, oh, I could sell tickets, you know, like stand up is my real passion. And uh, Cash Cab just came along and just worked for me. I was always driving to make money before that, you know, and it's kind of funny for me. Like I, I, I'm a comedian. I dream of getting a TV show one day and then I do, but I still have to drive a cab. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. Okay. Well, you're, well, you're talking about stand up comedy and you're going to be here in Hawaii. Uh, not this mm -hmm. weekend. The following weekend, two shows. Yes, You're going to start on Maui and then in Honolulu. What can folks expect from your show? Well, so I'll be there Thursday the 25th and Friday the 26th. And um, what people can expect is to laugh, man. I, you I If you anything. buy a ticket to my show, I see it as my job to make you laugh hard enough really, that you forget about the parts of your life that <laughs> suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So... You know, I just want to get you there you, to where you're like not thinking about the things that stress you out and you're just like, it's supposed to be an escape, you know? Yeah. I don't do any political stuff. I write, it's, it's observational, you know, silly things that I notice. People, okay, uh, let me ask you this. Says push. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. While you're in Hawaii, is there anything you uh, you plan to do besides, because this it's not your first trip to Hawaii. Is there, what, do you, what else do you do when you're when you're in Hawaii? I've been to Hawaii two or three times in the past three, I think. Uh, I'm coming a little bit early. I'm going to check out the big island for a couple of days cool. before I we uh, head over to Maui for the show next Thursday night. Mm -hmm. uh, I plan to do all, all sorts of stuff. And then I'm staying afterwards for on, on Maui for eight days of vacation. That's awesome. Uh, and I just can't wait. I'm going to probably try to see and do everything you can possibly do on Maui in that time. Well, there's lots of great uh, food to, to go eat, and uh, we hope that you yeah. enjoy yourself. Uh, what about any new projects? I mean, obviously, you've got the stand-up thing going on right now, but any new projects that are coming up that you want to let us know about? Well, I do a live streaming show called The Big News Show on YouTube every Wednesday night at 9 Eastern. It's just kind of a live hang that uh, originated out of a show I did called Working From Home, through the pandemic when I couldn't go out and perform on the road, I was doing a live sort of improv show every week to raise money for a charity, Share Our Strength. Uh, and we ended up community from that show. So now I do this thing, the big new show, where it's I'm literally sitting right where I'm sitting now, 
and we just kind of hang and chat and you know there's fun segments and stuff like that and, but mostly right now i'm focused on on my stand up tour i've got a lot of dates booked all the way through december of this year and january into january of next year already and just kind of getting back to that you know as a comic like i was saying before you always hope to get a tv show or something else <laughs> branch out into all these other things but really it's you know that's what i love to do and i'm so i'm just trying to focus on that well, I really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule and joining us. Uh, oh, it looks bet. like you've got a great spot where, where you're doing your uh, your, show, <laughs> your shows from. Um, just want to let I everybody know, so. Maui Peeps, May 25th at the Playground on Maui, and then in Honolulu at the Crossroads on Friday, May 26th. And, of course, you can get your tickets, and you can check out his entire tour dates at uh, his website, therealbenbailey.com. Ben, thank you so much for joining us here, and have a great show. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I think that I think it was Crossroads, and now it's called HB Social Club. Okay, so that's uh, there you go, HB Social Club. We'll we'll have uh, we'll have that, of course, all that information and uh, contact information or his website on our website, k 12com Shortly after the show, Ben, take care, man. Awesome. Thank you. You too. Great meeting you. Thanks so much, guys. Hope to see you next week. All right. Uh, good. Good talk. All right.